Hey everyone, I'm Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for another video. Today I would like to give you a quarter two update of my planner <laughs> lineup. Um, if you saw my 2020 planner lineup video that I released several months ago, it was maybe about half this size. And some of them are the same. Actually, most of them are the same. I've added a couple, but I don't think I've taken any away. <laughs> <laughs> so it has only grown, but I would like to give you a quarterly update throughout the year just so that you can see all of the things that I am using to plan. The majority of what you see on my channel is with my Hobonichi cousin Evek because I am in that the most for sure, doing weekly plan with me's and monthly plan with me's, but there are a lot of things that I use planners for. So I wanted to give you a quarterly update on how I'm using them all. Starting off here, this is the A5 Hobonichi Plain Notebook, and I just use this for memory keeping. So I will print pictures off and put them in here with just a little sentence or two reminding me of either silly things that my daughter says or memories that I want to remember. And we started this in 2019, and I don't know how long it will last, so I didn't put an end year on it. So I am trying to keep up with this. Next up, I have a Hobonichi Day Free. This is another A5 size, and I have it in this leather cover um, that has my initials down here that I got. It is from Off Grid Leather Goods on Etsy, and I really like this cover for this Day Free. And I have been using this for finances. It's what I use to reconcile all of our different accounts. And so I have a tab here for each of our accounts that I have to keep track of. And then I use the monthlies to keep track of when bills are due. If you are unfamiliar with the day free, it is so versatile and I have several in my lineup here. I definitely recommend checking this out. Next up is my Cultivate What Matters goal planner. And this got a lot of love in January and February, less love in March, but I want to give it um, love again in April. Goals will look different with the current situation and everything, but I do want to still move forward in my goal planning. So these three planners that I have shown you first, you probably won't see very much of any of them in any of my social media platforms. And that's just because I want to keep these things personal, but I did want to go ahead and update you and let you know that I am still using them. So then we're going to move on to my work planners. Now I have an Etsy shop and I try and manage everything that goes in with the Etsy shop and finances and everything in these three books. Now it might seem a little, <laughs> a little um, strange to be using so many, but they all have very important, very different uses and I use them all together. So this is another one of those Hobonichi day freeze and I just have a clear Midori ND cover on it and you might notice that these two are coiled. I did take these to Office Max or Office Depot, I don't remember which one it is, and I had them coil bound. I do like that a lot, especially if I'm trying to manage three planners on my desk. If I had to have them all open, <laughs> I would take up a lot of desk space, um, as you can imagine. So what I actually prefer to do is flip them over, even this one, even though it's not um, disc bound, or not disc bound, um, coil bound, they take up a lot less room on my desk this way. So as I mentioned, this is another one of those day freeze, and I have been using this for several things. I like to use the monthly spread here just for an overview of when I'm going to have new releases or $2 Tuesdays, as well as tracking just the holidays. And then if I have things that I absolutely need to do on a specific day, I will write that in as well as it pops up. I do like to use these page for various tracking. So up at the top, I will put the important things that are coming up in the month. So whether it's a $2 Tuesday or a new release or any sales that we have going on, and then I will use these for record keeping of stats that we have on every single day, whether it's number of orders, total revenue, and then I will circle the days that have a new release or $2 Tuesday just so that I can kind of see the ebbs and flows. It is very cyclical. More sales obviously on new release or $2 Tuesdays than the other days. And then at the bottom, I like to track the payments that we are receiving from Etsy. And then in the back with these blank pages, I like to make lists, lots and lots of lists. So I like to ask my Facebook group for script ideas, or I might come up with ideas that I want to use in the future for things, and I want to put them somewhere, and so this is where they go. 
I also manage the traveling Hobonichi cousin, and so I have a lot of information in here about which states are covered, which states we're still looking for, and that type of thing. All of that is tracked in this notebook. So then this one is actually a 2017 one that I bought really cheap um, whenever I was first introduced to Hobonichi just to see if I wanted to use this. I bought it really cheap on a buy-sell trade and I wanted to use it for um, trying out stickers. And so when I was first um, designing and trying to get the layouts and the sizing and everything. So that's what I bought this for. And then I had it coil bound just to kind of test out and see. Um, I will put a link to that video if you were curious on my thoughts of this. I really, really like it. Um, but this I just use for various like random lists, kind of like the other one, except these are more specific to the shop. So whether it's a big long list of scripts that I'm working on that I need to check off as I go, or a list of listings that I need to update, whatever the case may be, this is what I use this for. And it drives me nuts to write on the side with the actual coil. So I almost never write on this side of the paper. I only use this side. So once I'm done with this sheet, I will flip it over and then I will use this one. I essentially just use this like a blank notebook. I ignore the dates. And the reason I need both this and this other notebook is that if I filled the first notebook with all of these kinds of things, it would fill up really quickly. And I want that one to last me a full year. And then this little A6, this is actually an AVEC, an original AVEC. I use this for my actual daily task list. So I maybe at one point will have all three notebooks out on my desk referring back to them. So if I have a list of scripts that I want to put in this shop, maybe here, I will write down which ones I'm actually going to work on. And this one, like as a running list, and then I will use this as an actual what I am tackling today list. So this might take me a week to accomplish, but I am writing lists for days here. And this is a, you know, a shorter <laughs> space for me to not go overboard with my to-do list. So I'm really enjoying this three notebook system for my work planning. And then we have a couple of ring planners. <laughs> You may have seen um, my videos on this rings before. I did a setup video. I showed you how I made dividers for it. And I am still using this. I have my little sections here with different things. The main reason that I was excited about this was the meal planning section and the social media section. Now, overall, I have decided that this size is too small for me, but I am going to continue using it for a couple of things. I also like the contacts section and then having just the blank pages here is really handy too if I just need to grab a piece of paper really fast for a small list here or there. So I am still using this, just not quite like I intended originally. I did move up in size to an A5 and I recently got um, these dividers for it and then these little labels to put on the dividers. These are from Planner Press. And I also got some more of the So Much Crafting inserts. Just kind of a hodgepodge of things in here right now to be completely honest. So for my meals, I have kind of the list of, <laughs> this is such a big kind of jumbled mess. Um, but whenever I was trying to do the grocery shopping and everything for three weeks menu planning, um, while we have been staying at home, I wanted to just get all that and I want to keep it because I'm playing around with the idea of having just a three week, this is what we eat every three weeks and then simplifying meal planning and grocery shopping to where it's always the same recipes. I mean, they can switch out one or two of them here or there, but for the most part, keeping the same either in a three week or a four week cycle and then I don't have to think about what to make. So I'm in the process of thinking through that. And then for work, this is actually I'm using for schoolwork and notes. I am a teacher as well. Cleaning, self-explanatory. Lists is just any other list that I might come up with. And then personal, I mainly put that there just so that it can fluctuate for whatever I need it to be. So that is useful as well. I did get the So Much Crafting vertical inserts. I was trying to keep more track of my social media. So originally what I was using in this personal size rings, and I may have gotten rid of it. Yeah, I did. 
but just this little list and I had divided it so that I had Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and this was just not enough room. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and try this vertical. So I had Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And this was way more space than I needed, but I liked having the vertical here separating it in my brain. It just made so much sense having it all separated and having it vertical. But I didn't need to use all of this for social media. So then what I tried the next week is having social media up at the top and then the next one for meals throughout the day as we are eating and cooking at home <laughs> three times a day. And then at the bottom having my work things. And then here at the very bottom, the important things that are kind of going on in the day, the appointments, the things that I don't wanna forget, I prefer planning in an hourly for these things usually, but right now we don't have as much need for that. So this vertical is really working out for me, but you may know that rings are not my favorite. I like writing on this side. I like the flexibility of being able to move pages around or you know all of that, it's great until it comes to writing on this one and I just cannot stand it. So taking it in and out is definitely an option, but it was getting a little bit annoying. Also just, <laughs> This is bulky, right? It's huge, it's adorable, but it's bulky. And I still have my Hobonichi cousin that I am never probably going to get rid of. And so carrying both of these around the house is just way too much. So, saved the best for last. <laughs> what I am doing now is using this Jibun Techo that you may or may not have seen videos about. I am using this very similarly to how I was planning in the vertical spread in the A5. So what I've done, here's a blank weekly if you are not familiar. It is an hourly planner, but personally I cannot stand the circles in this thing. So what I chose to do is white out all of the circles and then naturally it has these lines to break up the day like it's its own little vertical planner. So what I did, I have my social at the top, still my social media, not my social security number. <laughs> That's funny. Um, meals in the middle and then a spot for to-dos for work. And then at the bottom, I'm treating this just the same. I have the kind of important things that are going on that day. And then there's even this little spot at the bottom I am putting my videos as they go live. Then I'm also using this space on this side for videos that I either want to do this week or next week. And of course, a space at the top for the weather and all of that. This is not something that I would ever probably use as my main planner, but it is a really great companion. And I did want to show you too what I did to it. We kind of ripped it in half. <laughs> so it is April and it was about twice as thick as I needed it to be for the pages that I wanted to use. So at the beginning were the monthlies and those reference pages that I had really no use for. So what we did was just rip it down the side. We literally broke it in half. Here's the other half of all the pages that I got rid of. Um, so like half of it for sure. And then we just taped the cover back on and I have been just using this here in the front pocket if it's really nice and it honestly doesn't bulk up my cousin that much and since I use the Hobonichi cousin effect and it's only half of the year instead of the full year it does allow space inside for this extra little companion so I am really loving my setup right now it's something that is definitely very functional for me and as things hopefully soon, ramp back up with busyness of schedules. I think it will still be very, very beneficial. So that is my updated quarter two 2020 planner lineup. I would love to know how you are mixing things up here lately in the second quarter, especially with everything that's going on right now. If you are mixing up how you are planning or if you are still planning like you were at the beginning of 2020, I would love to know that in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.